alone. It's been a little while, so I'm thrilled to uh, get your insights and your commentary. And, and you know, you've really broken it down in a pretty convenient way relative to what you see going on in the markets from a high level standpoint. One of them is the idea that the markets are in cruise control. Talk to us about this. Yeah. Uh, hey, Abigail, great to be back in the studio. So as everyone knows, the Fed has made uh, everything uh, quote unquote easy and a lot of investors have really used that as a backdrop to support asset prices. Uh, between that, hopes of a China deal eventually happening or at least not hurting. Uh, and people really believe that the Trump election or the so-called campaign, as long as the Democrats don't show any progress, the markets will be supported by all of Trump's initiatives to try to keep uh, asset prices higher. So we're respecting that right now. And so another point you're making and perhaps connected to that is FOMO or fear of missing out. Is that what's happening? Plus, of course, the Fed. Yeah, another problem uh, because of last year, end of Q4 did hurt a lot of years. Uh, most of those made that back this year, but many are still Still underperforming, so funds that are up 10% when the market's up 20 are actually searching for more upside. How can I continue to make money as the stock market goes higher? But they're a little afraid from a risk perspective. So we are finding ourselves buying uh, upside calls on high conviction names uh, and still maintaining that upside exposure in names that people want to own because the, the fear right now, the downside is extremely low. Yeah, the volatility is uh, extremely low. And you think that a floor will be likely put in relatively soon? You know, I think today was kind of a start where we're seeing certain floors. Wow, you're going to call it now. Not calling it now, but we're starting to add some exposures lightly. Uh, we do think if you have a nice year, it makes sense to spend some money and put some protection on in different ways. Uh, the VIX has has reached these levels before this year. It has been a level where it stopped going down. Uh, you might bleed a bit, but it's hard to chase downside. So we like uh, being there, uh, and we are initiating a, a few interesting trades in August and September. Okay, well, let's talk about some of those trades. Before we talk about your SPY trade, let's talk about uh, Yext and also uh, People Live. Yeah, so two uh, two names that Opco uh, has an outperform rating on. Uh, Yext is a delivery, delivery management knowledge uh, company that uh, works closely with its partnership of Amazon. Uh, very under the radar name. The quarter last uh, the last quarter was a bit uh, hairy. Uh, we do think that they are starting to execute, and we like a clean way to play this uh, on the upside. Uh, it does have takeout potential. We're using the November 22 and a half calls around a dollar fifty okay. to play X. Uh, Live person is another interesting name. Uh, software has been a, a great sector. This is cheap to its comps. Uh, Opco has an outperform rating, $35 price target. We do think there's room higher. Mm -hmm. uh, we think they can execute on the print. Uh, that's been the issue here and why it's trading cheaper. Uh, it's had a nice 10% move the last three days. We've been buying stock, August 30 calls, and August 35 calls as a way to play live person uh, on the upside. Okay, so those are your stock specific calls. And then you also have uh, an SPY uh, soft alpha call. Talk to us yeah, about so, that. So, you know, again, it goes back to our theme of, you know, let's figure out a way to have some downside, maybe not spend too much money. Uh, and we're pairing it with a VIX trade. So we're buying a uh, September 280 put one time and we're selling a 266 put uh, two times for no cost. So what that does, it's delta neutral. It's not going to be a hard hedge, but it does give you kind of a downside tail into September. The risk on that is if the market gets hit into August, your mark might not be strong. So we're pairing that with a long VIX trade. We're buying the August 1725 call spread for around 70 cents. That will pay out really nicely if the market gets hit over the next month and the SPY trade will just be a nice positive carry that you can sit on. 